Welcome to Pack 34's Pinewood Derby. I am Mark Lynn, your race announcer. Before the races start, I'd like to go over some background information on how the Pinewood Derby is run. Back in the early 1950s, a Cub Master wanted to do some racing with his Cub Scouts. But because they were too young for Soapbox Derby, he thought a miniature race would be easy for the young Cubs to do. The Cubs and their fathers built races from blocks of wood and stage races for them and the, and the Pinewood Derby was born. It was an instant success and the Pinewood Derby for Cub Scouts swept the country. Over the years, some simple rules were established for the maximum size and weight for a racer and how the wheels are to be done. The races are done head to head for some excitement, but the places are determined solely by the clock. In order to give the races the best possible outcome, each racer runs a heat on every lane. Some cars will run faster on one lane than another. So the racer with the fastest average time for the rank is the winner. Something to remember is that although the Cub may win all his heats, he may not have the fastest average time. Derby races are done within the ranks. So Tigers race Tigers, Wolves race Wolves, Bears race Bears, and Weeblos race Weeblos. When the scouts check in on race day, their cars are weighed and checked over and put into pit row. While the scouts watch the races from the stands, any scouts whose car exceeds the size and weight or has any other problem has some time before their heats to make repairs, have the car rechecked and entered for racing. One more piece of information, lane assignments are from right to left as we watch. So lane one is at the right, lane two is in the middle, and lane three is on the left. First up, we have the Tigers. In the first heat, we have on lane one, Joshua Hoya. On lane two, Jackson Delu. Lane three, Owen Levy. Coming in first is Jackson Delu on lane two with a time of 2.7 seconds. Our second race, on lane one we have Nathan Clark, on lane two, Nathan Freely, and lane three, Luke McDonough. And the winner is Nathan Feely on lane two with 2.6 seconds. Heat three, we have on lane one, Jackson Delu, lane two, Owen Landry, and lane three, Patrick O'Brien. And the winner for this heat is Owen Landry on lane two at 2.6 seconds. In our next heat, we have Luke McDonough on lane one, Lucas Paker on lane two, and Benjamin Vinton on lane three. Three, two, one. The winner of this heat is Lucas Paker on lane two, at 2.6 seconds. Our next heat, on lane one, we have Owen Levy, lane two, Patrick O'Brien, lane three, Christian Vervel. And our winner for this heat, is Owen Levy, lane one, with 2.9 seconds. This next heat, we have Owen Landry on lane one, Luke McDonough on lane two, Samuel Primer on lane three. Samuel will not be racing due to his car not meeting specs. The winner of this race was Owen Landry on lane one with 2.6 seconds. 
On this heat, on lane one, we have Lucas Paker. On lane two, Christian Vanville. And on lane three, Nathan Clark. The winner for this heat is Lucas Paker on lane one with 2.5 seconds. Our next heat, on lane one, we have Patrick O'Brien, and lane three, Joshua Hoya. The winner of this race is Patrick O'Brien in lane one at 3.1 seconds. This heat, Nathan Feely is on lane one, Owen Levy's on lane two, Lucas Paker on lane three. The winner of this heat is Lucas Baker, lane three, at 2.6 seconds. Our next heat on lane two is Benjamin Vinton, and lane three, Jackson DeLue. Three, two, Jackson Delu, lane three is the winner of this heat at 2.8 seconds. The next heat, Kristen Vanville on lane one, Joshua Ahoya on lane two, and Nathan Feely on lane three. The winner of this heat is Nathan Feely, lane three, at 2.6 seconds. The final heat for the Tigers will be Benjamin Vinton, lane one, Nathan Clark, lane two, and Owen Landry, lane three. The winner of the final heat is Owen Landry, lane three, at 2.6 seconds. The winners for the Tigers are, in third place, Nathan Feely, in second place, Owen Landry, and in first place, Lucas Baker. Our next set of races are the Wolves. In lane one, we have Jacob Rothwell. Lane two, we have Zachary Boyer. Lane three will be a test car to take the spot of the third racer in the race. The winner of this race is Zachary Boyer in lane two with 2.8 seconds. Our second heat, first lane is Test Carr, second lane is Jacob Rothwell, and the third lane is Zachary Boyer.
The winner of this heat is Zachary Boyer on lane three with 2.8 seconds. The final race for the Wolves today will be Zachary Boyer on lane one and Jacob Rothwell on lane three. The winner of this heat was Zachary Boyer with 2.8 seconds on lane one. The winners for the Wolves are in second place, Jacob Rothwell, and in first place, Zachary Boyer. Our next race of the day are the Bears. <laughs> On lane one, we have Jack Means. On lane two, we have Brady Cosio. Lane three, we have Matt Tebow. And the winner of this race is Jack Means on lane one with 2.6 seconds. Our next heat, on lane one we have Zen Allen, on lane two we have Cameron Lacey, and on lane three we have Jack Means. And the winner of this heat is Cameron Lacey on lane two with 2.6 seconds. Our next heat on lane one, we have Brady Cosio. On lane two, we have Matt Tebow. And lane three, Zen Allen. The winner of this heat is Matt Tebow on lane two with 2.6 seconds. In this next seat, we have Cameron Lacey in lane one, Jack Means on lane two, and Brady Cosio on lane three. The winner of this seat is Jack Means on lane two with 2.6 seconds. For the final race for the Bears, we have Matt Tebow in lane one, Zen Allen in lane two, and Cameron Lacey in lane three. The winner of the final heat is Cameron Lacey in lane three at 2.6 seconds. Congratulations, guys. The winners for the Bears are in third place, Matt Tebow, in second place, Jack Means, and in first place, Cameron Lacey. First place is Cat Five. Congratulations. 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 Cat One took second place. Congratulations, Jack. Cat Eight took third. Congratulations, guys. The final races for today are the Weeblos. The first heat for the Weeblos, we have Colin Bootwell in lane one, Liam Keller in lane two, Adam Vinton in lane three.
And the winner of this heat is Colin Butwell in lane one with 2.6 seconds. Our next heat, we have Cole Hunton in lane one, Nick Locke in lane two, and Colin Butwell in lane three. The winner of this heat is Colin Betwell in lane three with 2.6 seconds. Our next heat, we have Liam Keller in lane one, Tristan Baker in lane two, and Cole Huntington in lane three. The winner of this heat is Tristan Baker, lane two, with 2.6 seconds. Our next heat, we have Nick Locke in lane one, Peter Thibault in lane two, and Liam Keller in lane three. The winner of this heat is Peter Thibault in lane two, with 2.6 seconds. Our next heat, we have Tristan Baker in lane one, Adam Vinton, lane two, Nick Locke, lane three. The winner of this heat, Nick Locke, lane three, with 2.7 seconds. Our next heat, we have Peter Thiebel in lane one, Colin Boatwell in lane two, and Tristan Baker in lane three. And the winner of this heat is Peter Thiebel in lane one with 2.6 seconds. The final heat of the day for the Weeblows we have Adam Vinton in lane one, Cole Huntington in lane two, and Peter Thibault in lane three. Three, two, one. The winner of this heat is Peter Thibault, lane three, with 2.7 seconds. The winners for the Weeblos are, in third place, Tristan Baker, in second place, Peter Thibault, and in first place, Colin Boatwell. In first place, Colin. Good job, buddy. Who's got Mina? Congratulations, second place. And third place. Good job, guys.